Another Nashville restaurant closing its doors because of the pandemic. The owner says the regulations from the city were just too much to survive. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs tells us why other owners say they're worried. It's a strain. We won't make any money this year, but we'll we'll make it through. Carrie Bringle with Peg Leg Porker says there's no denying this year has been rough. I think my business is safe today. It doesn't mean that my business will be safe in six months. But the same isn't being said when he walks out the door. You drive around the Gulch right now and it looks like a ghost town. You drive around downtown. It looks like a ghost town. Businesses just a few doors down from Bringle is closing up shop. We saw a uh, bar Otaku uh, has closed a real loss for the neighborhood. They're not the only ones feeling forced to close. A restaurant owner who wants to remain anonymous telling us off camera their last day will be next week. They lost more than half of their lunch crowd, thousands of dollars in catering, sales and employees, which is a loss for the neighborhood. They, they just had their three year anniversary. Bringle says the problem is the rules and regulations placed on restaurants and bars during this pandemic. Things like work hours and dining capacity size. He's also asking the mayor and the administration to listen and take advice from small business owners. They're asking for a seat at the table. I think we'll see more fallout uh, with these sort of arbitrary crushing regulations. Bringle says Metro's property tax increase will kill more businesses as well. Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. Bringle says they're also asking the administration to use money from the CARES Act for rapid testing for the hospitality industry. He says quick test results will alleviate some stress on companies.